In partnership with Redpoint Ventures, we are at NASDAQ's market site celebrating the Redpoint Infrared 100 list. My name is Christina Ayanian, and joining me today is CTO and co-founder of Timescale, Mike Friedman. Mike, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, let's talk about Timescale. What does the company do and how does your role come into play? So Timescale is a database company. We provide infrastructure, which would application developers build on top of it. Um, but in particular, we actually build a modern uh, cloud, which you know people can get a fully managed service to be, basically build production grade data intensive applications. So what does that mean? What does production grade intensive applications mean? So you know there's different types of applications. Some are the ones where you're a hobbyist at home where you're doing a weekend project. Some you're you're running core infrastructure for the internet. You know NASDAQ itself has plenty of databases in the background. And for those, you need things that run 24 seven. And you could actually really build applications that could serve thousands and millions of users all around the world. Wow. And Timescale has definitely grown. You've started in 2017. You now have employees in 26 countries. That's incredible. Over 150 employees. You just announced a rebrand. What has changed from that rebrand? Yeah, so when we started, we were really focusing on uh, time series data. So if you think about stock tickers or uh, IoT data. This is that you have sensors or other form of information that's coming out at, at a high rate of uh, rate of change, and you want to collect all that so you can make better decisions. Um, when we started, we were building kind of just the core infrastructure, and it takes a while to do that. But as you start uh, launching the cloud and actually getting more and more customers, you actually see the acceleration of what people need in a, in a modern type of infrastructure. So as the industry is evolving, you're also evolving with it. Yeah, so you know, you start at one thing, and what we see is you, you really have a growth of what became from use cases like we talked about financial and crypto and time series and product analytics, and now uh, we see a lot of AI applications being built on, time, on top of time scale. And in general, the thing that they have in common is that application developers today and businesses today are dealing with a lot of data, so they need a type of infrastructure that could support the type of scale. Uh, productivity, cost effectiveness, and performance that they need to build those type of applications. From a application development standpoint, what is the foundation of Timescale? So Timescale is actually builds and modernizes on top of a core database called Postgres. Mm -hmm. So Postgres actually, you know, one of the things that we, when we launched, we like to say, when boring is awesome. It is actually a technology with its roots almost 30 years old now that's been really battle tested across millions of developers. Mm -hmm. um, but it kind of emerged in a very different time when you know, we were running on-premise with single servers. And what Timescale did was really accelerate these for these new, the scale of data intensive applications, the type of analytics, and now for the cloud that uh, Postgres, when it started, wasn't fully designed for. What's next for Timescale? Well, I think the big thing is we see really all these different use cases. And I think um, what we've seen as an industry across the last 10 years, was some people talk about the digital transformation that either a company today is a data uh, company, or it's being replaced by a, another company that uses data better. Uh, and so when we see that shift of basically all types of industries using data at the core, the core of the use of that data is a great database like we build at Timescale. And so we really see the adoption across all different areas. You know, This month uh, or this year, it has been this rise of AI. I'm sure we're going to see that for the next five, 10 more years. But I think in general, what we see is data companies in general are going to use more data, not less. Absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing your story. And we look forward to continue following and having you back at NASDAQ soon.